Today I took Peter Gay to the dentist. This is really a one-off situation because I understand what it's like having a toothache. And when I spoke to her on the phone and she told me that Jordan can't sleep and daddy can't sleep because the toothache was so bad. Um, somebody reached out to me, a lady from the US, and she just sent some money for me to take her to the dentist. And so I did. Um, wanted to fix her dentures at the same time, that was the plan. But unfortunately, the dental technician came down with the flu and we had to postpone. He's willing to fix her dentures for free. So I'm not taking up the responsibility, but I see where I could help Peter Gay out, being that I was the one who took her to do her dentures and so on. And so, you know, the family is getting help otherwise. So this is really just a one-off situation, as I said before. So in this video, you'll see what happened when I took her to the dentist and then um, when I took her home. You're watching Shanzen Zen Jamaican Vibes. Inspiring, motivating, showcasing Jamaican talent, and giving back to my Jamaican people. Ask her, I two of them and also ask her which one. You want to ask her because she has to two of them over the car. Oh. Oh, no. not there. It's at the top. She has to get antibiotics before she goes on. She has access. Oh. It's a lot of the children. Uh huh. It's a pain last night, man. We can't go out. But then this tooth hurt, you know? Oh, yeah. Let me show you. At the top one, infected? Mm -hmm. Oh, it has abscess. Oh, look at them. That's you know? Oh, yes. Sure, then. Mm hmm. So you're not even sure how we show them. But this we can see the infected. Yeah. Let's get some antibiotics first. My gosh. Pull them out. You have to get the antibiotics, antibiotics first, first, and then she can pull it. We did now and then pull it out. Lot of mercy. So um, Peter Gay just coming back from the dentist. Um, thank you so much to a lovely donor who sent the donation for Peter Gay to, to get her teeth extracted. I know what toothache is like and in the tooth was severely decayed. But she also has an abscess daddy. Right, Mr. Graham? She yes, have yes, an yes, yes, abscess. Yes, 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 so um, they gave me some medication, some medication for her. She got one for inflammation and pain. That's this one. It's to be taken three times daily. And she has to take it with food. Yeah. And this one now is the antibiotic. Right? Yes, please. And the antibiotic, she has to take it three times daily until it's finished too. They say complete the course. So you take it after you eat, Peter Gay. So you take it, Peter Gay, in the morning, in the daytime, and then in the in the night, probably before you go to bed or uh, in the some, evening after you eat. Some, the antibiotic and you have an excuse to get to you know, but you know, like, wow. A ugly. different color. Yeah, I, 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 I they want to make the different but I saw one time antibiotic and you know, Yeah, this one no mistake. Yeah. Mistake, Mr. Graham. This one are two times daily, but you can read. So you can read and see. Yeah. This one are two times. So Peter gave me just get one bottle of water for her, Mr. Graham. Okay. So she can take her pill them. The book in her hand is for Jordan. Yeah. 
Yeah, um, Jordan, you're not feeling well. No, he must get injection, immediately injection yesterday. Immediately. Oh. oh. Yes, he, 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 he was strong through and threw the power still on like it. And he didn't know what he did to come back to school with diarrhea and he didn't know about it. We have to run with him and him. The sun is a bit hot, oh, yeah. I'm vomiting all them here. Yes, so yes. So we reach out there in the morning, early the doctor. They must be set rushing, they rush him inside and... Give him the injection. Yes, them, them give him something full. Swing full of uh, red oh. uh, medicine and then the doctor have to inject him. Oh, them them give him something to bring down the yes, fever. Yes, so one lady come here to smile, come look for him. Yeah. She never had the medication then, so she gone with the paper, so she gone and get the medication. Oh, okay, that's true. She had one more medication, she had antibiotics, she had some medication. But this she have to take, because it didn't say she have to come back one week's time. Yes, yes, she have to take it. She have to take it. She have to take it. Yeah, you have to take it, Peter, again. I want medicine the way I drink, I don't want to take it, so it's Peter, you have to take it. Yeah, yeah, when you get your medicine, Peter, again, Take it because that's what's going to make you get better. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my. Doctor, nice doctor. Doctor, yeah. really want help you can fight, fight. The dentist said that the no, abscess is bad. Abscess is them now. We need to yeah. abscess. Yes, yeah, so we have to get the, you have to take the medication, Peter Gay. Alright? And you can't put nothing dirty, dirty in your mouth. No, you can't put any dirty thing in your mouth. Because that's and going to just. You have to much sweet, yeah. You have to cut down on the candy. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yes, the doctor tell her no sweet, mm -hmm. no um, soda, no drinking or soda. She must stop the, the sweet drinking, the sweet things there, yeah, man. Yes, yes. No soda and stuff, yeah. yeah. man. So, um, so next week again, at that time, I am going to take her now because the dentist that did the dentures said he's going to fix the dentures, yeah, so the for free. Oh, All right, so but here we know me are gonna leave. Right. So yes, wait, yes. yes. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and thanks for making it Shans and Zen God Jamaican vibes. Until God. next time, walk good and look out for your neighbor. Bless you also, Mr. Graham. Yes, ma'am. The sun the pie, man. And bless you and yours, man. All right, I so I you. hope Jordan feel better soon, so he can yes, go back to school. Good evening, from the place. Yes, sir. I hope you keep yourself. Yes, that's Jordan. But you ain't sick, me not too. Me don't want to get sick, you know? Alright. Alright then, Mr. Graham. Yes. Also, thank you to Miss Claudette in South Carolina who sent donation for Mr. Graham. She sent the donation directly to someone for him there. So, um, if you want to donate to Mr. Graham, just contact me. I'll send you the information as to how you can reach him and the person who collects the donation for him. Look what the Lord has done. Thank you guys so much for these donations. Of course, this might seem like a lot, but guys, this is just a drop in the bucket. Because last year we had way, way, way more than this amount of supplies and the supplies did not meet the demand. So I'm still asking for your support. And if all goes well, guys, remember this July I will be in New York on my back to school drive as well. So you can donate to me when I'm there. If you wish, you can purchase items and send to the address that I'll be staying. As soon as the flight is confirmed, I'll let you guys know so you can go ahead and purchase. But if you are in the area, you can drop off to me. I'll send you the location and you can drop off as much supply as possible. 
but I am so grateful for these boxes with books and pencils and erasers and sharpeners and pens. I'm very, very grateful, but as I say, it's just a drop in the bucket. And this year we got socks. We got some donations of socks. And we're still asking for your donations of toothbrush and toothpaste because these items as we did last year we want to do it this year the same way where we issue them to the children who got their their dental done and not just the ones who got the dental but also the other children who attend because you know personal hygiene is very important so you know going back to school it's important for the kids to get you know toothbrush and toothpaste so that they can go to school with their mouth feeling fresh and clean yeah, so we got um, some more pens here. We got a big box of pens, but we still need more supplies. As I said, this is just a drop in the bucket. So, as much as you can donate, back, backpacks, books, pens, pencils, erasers, sharpeners, glue sticks, rulers, geometry sets, pencil case, glue stick, Binders, toothbrush, toothpaste, we will most gratefully appreciate it. So, of course, these are some toothbrush and toothpaste that was donated. And, you know, this, this, this won't go very far. So, we are asking, guys, come on, we can do this. Look what you all did already. And this is just the start. Remember to donate to my back to school supply drive. My number will be on the screen.